the level. What's going on Nasty Nation, it's Nasty, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Zack Support. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video, then be sure to leave a like on the video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. So, Zack Support, this is a pick that I'm assuming most of you guys probably haven't seen or heard of before. Uh, but there's probably also a handful of you guys who have seen this pick before. So a little bit of a, a rundown or a history check on the... Uh, the pick. Basically, Zach Support, there's a couple YouTube videos on it uh, already. I made a couple myself uh, about a year ago. Aphromoo was playing this on stream not that long ago, probably sometime last year. Uh, and it was also picked in Twitch Rivals most recently by Metaphor, I believe. So there is, you know, some history with the champion in the pick. Uh, it's not the strangest thing in the world, but overall, there's not a ton of people that, uh, that play it. Uh, me, on the other hand, I play this pick a lot, actually. Uh, I familiarized myself with it, I've had a lot of success with it, and that's why I feel like I'm in a pretty good position to kind of explain uh, how this pick works and why it's actually good. So, um, the, the goal of today's video isn't necessarily to uh, win the game, obviously we're going to try to win the game, but more than anything I just kind of want to break down my thought process uh, throughout the game, and show you guys what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking that, and why what I'm doing works. Um, so yeah, and then another uh, reason I, I should probably... Uh, bring up why this pick actually works. Um, so a long time ago now, Zach was actually reworked. His ult is actually reverted now at this point. Uh, but when the rework happened, a lot of people, uh, you know, his win rate fell. So a lot of people were actually pretty upset. But the thing is, his win rate fell because of his damage going down, but his CC was never changed. So his damage is down, which makes it so that ganks are harder to pull off, ganks are harder to kill, but his CC has always been there. So that's why it kind of works in the support role now. Uh, another thing I should probably mention is the fact that you actually want to start the game with a point in your Q. And that's because you can do stuff like that. Engage on the enemy pretty easily. Uh, also, you know, your W isn't something, as you'll go on to see throughout this game, isn't something you necessarily prioritize a lot. We should be able to do a lot here, actually. There we go. Not bad. Yeah, they didn't really respect our uh, level 2 right there, so we get a lot of that. Um, your W isn't something you prioritize a lot as Zack support, because you don't need to put points into it, because you're not going to be clearing waves um, or jungle camps, so you don't you don't need that extra sustain and that extra damage. So, you actually want to be maxing uh, E first, Q second, and then your W last. Um, another thing I want to mention about the Q is, um, I'm going to compare it here to a couple of abilities. So, you have stuff like the, the Thresh, Nautilus, Ike hooks, right? You have champions like Leona with her E. Um, every single one of these champions has one ability that's kind of their main engage ability. And for Zack's support, actually just Zack in general, most people kind of look at it as his E. Everybody looks at Zack's E as his main engage, which is true when you're playing jungle. But when you're playing him in support role, your main engage is actually your Q, because you stand in the mini wave like this, and as you saw earlier, uh, you're able to just Q the enemy, auto attack a, a minion, and then you get the E for free. So it's it's easier, more efficient, uh, and it's a guaranteed CC chain as well. You actually can win these fights really easily, I believe. It should be an easy first blood. Nice. Uh, yeah, he didn't have flash or ghost or anything, so he, he's pretty much dead right there. So yeah, that's why the, the Q is actually going to be really important in the lane phase. Um, another thing I do want to mention is the fact that I put two points into my E. Uh, before I put a point into my, my W. And again, that's just because your W doesn't really mean a whole lot. You don't need that ability. And every time you put a point into your E, the jump range gets longer. So having two points in there actually uh, goes a long way. I'm able to land it right there, but we don't have a, a lot of wiggle room here to kind of engage on them. So nothing's going to be happening from that. Uh, I think <clears throat> even though Ezreal necessarily a champion that is uh, kind of a, a e bully and looks for kills a lot, uh, with this matchup, uh, he being Zack into Leona, which is actually a matchup that I win, and the fact that they have a Vayne ADC, who's a leader, or a champion that's better later in the game, uh, we actually hardcore win 2v2, so I would like to have this wave reset and for us to fight. Somehow. Uh, usually we can push in the wave for that to happen, or we can just, like, recall and, and let them uh, mess with the wave, and eventually it'll push up. But I think what we're gonna do, actually, is push in this wave... I'll do what I can to help push it in as fast as I can, but I can't get to that wave without taking tower shots. I don't want to use my E, because that, that also, um, <clears throat> that also uh, allows them to engage on us. But a recall here would be ideal. 
Take too long to push in that wave, so now there's another one. We're probably gonna have to push in this one too. I'm gonna do my best job here possible to try to push this in without dying. My keys down, so Liana should be going in on me right now. But I don't see her doing that. All right, perfect. Not bad. There's some fighting going on in the river, but that's not our business right now. We just need to recall and get out of here. 800 gold is pretty much perfect for Zach because I'm going to be going Kindle Gem. Oh, yeah, so I guess I can talk about the build now. Uh, so Zach's support is a little different from other supports in the in the build area. Uh, and that's just because, uh, well, A, he doesn't have any mana, so you don't want to be building any items with mana. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, you want to be prioritizing a lot of CDR because CDR on Zach pretty much wins you games. Um, so more times than not, pretty much like 99% of my games, I find myself going uh, Knight's Vow first. And after that, I also go for another Kindle Gem item. So either Spirit Visage or um, what is it called? Warmogs, just kind of depending on the game. If they have a lot of MR, then I'll go for Spirit Visage. If they go or if they don't have a lot of uh, AP, rather, then I usually go for Warmogs. You guys have not recalled yet, so I feel comfortable fighting. If I need to land my E there. Uh, I'll probably just back out here. Oh, which will get me out. That works. I'm gonna... I'm actually back this way. Let's see if I can bait something. Again, they haven't recalled yet, so they shouldn't be fighting us at all. I'm assuming they're finally getting that recall off now. Fiona is either being really greedy right now, or she's baiting. I guess she's just being really greedy, because I could very easily cancel her recall right there. Uh, but yeah, back to the build, you're either going to go Visage or you're going to go uh, Warmog, just kind of depending on what you need uh, at the moment. This game, they have AP top and AP mid, so I'll probably end up going Visage second. Uh, also, you're going to be going CDR boots, because again, all you care about really is, is CDR, so you want to get CDR, uh, max CDR as soon as possible. Uh, and then after that, you just kind of go for stuff like Locket and Stoneplate, these defensive items that uh, are, are fairly cheap. And they also um, don't have any mana, don't have any CDR, so you're getting maximum efficiency there. <clears throat> oh. Well, I missed a point blank Q there, which might have cost us this kill. I also have my passive still, so this is actually going to be really, really good for us. Okay. Well, I played that like an ape, but they played it even worse, so I guess it works out like that. Leona had no business engaging there, because she still hadn't recalled. So I, don't, I don't really know what they're doing. Again, I played that horribly, but they just played it worse. So that works. Again, the, the goal of this video isn't necessarily to kind of, you know, stomp the game, get 20 kills or 20 assists or anything like that. It's just kind of to, um, you know, show you guys some gameplay of Zach's support and show you guys my thought process. I don't necessarily have a lot of gold here, so I'm not sure if I want to recall. I don't think Ezreal has a lot of gold either. I guess we can get this plate. And then head out. That always works. Uh, so right here, all I'm going to be able to get is some cloth. Because uh, I did go for magical footwear, which means I can't afford boots yet. And there's nothing else that I can really afford at this point in time. I guess I can grab a control word. Uh, now that I am back in base and my Ezreal is just now going to lane, this is a good time to probably roam. Uh, roaming is something I haven't talked about yet, but roaming as Zach support is uh, really, really good. Uh, because naturally, Zach is a jungler, so uh, it's very easy for him to gank and, and jump on enemies from the Fog of War. Uh, right now, mid's pushing a little bit, so I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off. But there's really no reason for me to be sitting bot right now. This could be really good. I can counter gank this. I'm uh, pinging it too, so hopefully uh, Shaco will see this coming. I have to flash here, which would be a little bit of a bummer. See how it plays out, though. I think they just ended up having more people here than we did, so... It was pretty promising. I think that was the right time to gank. Uh, it actually wasn't the right time for them to gank, which kind of is the reason it caught me off guard a little bit. Really unexpected of, uh, of them to be there right now, uh, with Ezreal pushing in the bottom wave. So, not really sure what they're doing, but it's going to work out for us. Um, I can actually go back now, might as well. I'm low and it's going to take me about the same amount of time to get uh, to bot lane at this point. I can also upgrade this, grab another control ward. 
Yeah, that's that's just a pretty awkward fight. I mean, I, I think I'm in the right place at the right time. No casualties there, even though they have the numbers advantage. So, I'll get there. Now we head back to the bot lane. Ezreal was able to get free XP and and free CS for a while. He's also two and zero. Already completed this item. But I think as soon as I get back to the lane, we're pretty much looking to fight. My ignite's gonna be up too. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty uh, free lane from this point forward. Pretty free free game too, actually, as long as we just don't troll. It's also got red buff, so th this is like a really, really good for us. What I can do, drop that there. Last cone over. Don't know I'm here. I believe he has flash, he does. Alright, so I missed the point blank Q right there. I didn't really realize that um, Leona had Moby, so she just had too much movement speed. Uh, for me right there, but I was able to make up for it. So just a nice simple uh, Q into flash auto attack to get the connection and then it's the, the E after that. So again, that that's probably your, your go-to combo when playing Zach support. Like I said earlier, uh, most people think it's E as, as his go-to engage, but it's actually his Q. Uh, it's just, it's more efficient. It guarantees the, the full CC combo. Uh, it's easier to land. It, it's just a much better option all around. So, like, what I could have done there is charged up an E and tried to hit them with my E instead and then go for Q. But because they both had flash, they probably just flash away. And then I don't have the opportunity to Q them. So, it, it just goes really, really bad right there if I go for a play with my E rather than my Q. That's why you want to be doing that. Don't want to fight at all right now. We want to push in this wave and get out. I'm just going to hang out next to Ezreal. Just in case Leon engages. Yep. I might die here, but I had to uh, go in to peel for my my Ezreal. Good heal. All right. Yeah, I I think right there that's the that's the right play for a support to do. I have to go in and, and keep my Ezreal alive. See if I can peel for him. Uh, actually, we could go in on this. I have my ulti suit. I'll miss another point blank Q, but at least we get another kill. Or do we? I guess not. It's okay. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay. Now we can head back to lane. We can push this in. Actually, if we really want to green, we could probably get this tower, too. Uh, another thing that I do want to bring up or point out is something that I did right there. So, when Leona did engage on my Ezreal, uh, this this isn't just an advice for his X support. This is an advice or a piece of advice for any support champion out there. Uh, but when you're when the enemy ADC engages on your support or on your ADC, you want to make sure that you're going on the enemy ADC and, and not the enemy support uh, because the enemy support after engaging they've kind of done all that they can do. Whereas the ADC is just now about to follow up and put out all their damage. So if you can uh, CC the enemy ADC and prevent them from following up, and that's going to be your best case scenario. So right there, as soon as Leona goes on my Ezreal, I Q the Vayne, I auto attack the Leona, I E the Vayne. I, I ended up CCing them both, but my main target there was Vayne. We are miles ahead of these guys at this point. Yeah, I don't know if I have the damage for this guy. Good, actually. Beautiful. Yeah, we're, we're miles ahead of these guys, so if they're gonna face track a push like that, even if I miss everything, we still get kills. Again, we're going for a Q max second. Uh, w just doesn't really do anything for you. Right here, we, we should be getting first tower. Ezreal's 501, I'm 007. Also, another thing I should probably point out is the fact that, uh, again, I did rush CDR boot. CDR is just really, really important on, on Zac, and I already have the Kindle Gem, so completing my Knight's Vow when I was in base there, uh, it would have completed the item, but I don't get any more CDR. So, you just really, really prioritize CDR here. I don't know how much I can save him here. I'm going to run away with him. Oh, I might have trolled right there. Let's see if I can get that still. I have my passive. Ah, I trolled a little bit right there. I actually canceled my E because I thought Vayne was going to condemn me, but she condemned the, the luck, so I was actually fine the whole time. 
Okay, I got my passive though, and I was able to get to tower, so. And this guy's trolling. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I might actually just super greed here, because we're pretty much already going to win this game. They see me on a ward though, so they know I'm here. There's no way they stick around, but let's see. I'll at least recall right here, that way I can soak up some XP as I recall. Okay, not bad. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back, we're gonna complete Knight's Vow. Uh, as soon as we complete our item, we're immediately looking for another Kindle Gem, because that's more health, more CDR. Yeah. There's only 800 gold, and that's what the majority of our items will build into. Grab that, Ezreal should be fine by himself. I'm imagining now that the bot tower is gone, that their bot lane's probably not going back there. They could, I could be wrong. I'm assuming they're roaming elsewhere, maybe mid, maybe top. Okay, they're top, so Dragon's up in 40. Not that that matters too much, because this game will end before Dragon's are ever a factor. Uh, but with Ezreal safely bought, I could probably roam in here. Just clear up some vision. Uh, if Luxin and uh, finish that ward, then I can... I can auto-attack and get the, the Q off on Leona. Okay, uh, so Hecarim is top side right now, which means I can go for some vision. Actually, a play on the Ziggs here. Doesn't already know that I'm here. How's it going? Alright. I am a little balls deep right now at the moment, but I think I'm okay. I should survive here. Alright, not bad. Uh, another thing I do want to point out there, just kind of uh, break down my thought process. So, a lot of people, uh, what they'll do is every time they, they hit a Q on somebody, they just try to walk to the nearest target and auto attack to get the little smack together. Um, but what you can actually do, instead of having to walk to the next target, you can actually use your E to, to another target and your uh, your Q will still be attached. So, I, I Q'd one, jumped to the, I think I Q'd Diggs there. And then jump to Leona and then smack them together there. So uh, you don't always have to walk to the enemy. That could be too slow sometimes and they could be too far away. Uh, so sometimes it's better to just jump to them. Uh, it can backfire if you jump too far and the Q uh, you know, breaks and then you can't uh, smack them together at all. But as long as it's a short range jump, you should be fine. Alright, so what do we have on the map? No Rift Herald up right now, no Dragon up right now. Both of the outer towers on the side lanes are gone. I think we just kind of push mid together here. Catch Knight's Vow before it's too long, and I forget. I feel pretty confident, so I'm just going to walk all the way into their jungle right now, clear out vision, get some more deep wards, even though I think I know exactly where all of them are. I don't think I want to risk that. This, however, is something I will be going for. Alright, nice easy ace. I didn't have to do a whole lot there, just was patient, cleared out the vision. I had no idea where I was. Uh, make sure I have like a nice easy engage. Land on two, Q after that. And, and ulti, and they're pretty much dead after that. I'm a little surprised they haven't forfeit at this point, but we should end soon anyway. We're gonna have 27 kills in 18 minutes, so this game is pretty much a slaughter. We're so far ahead that I think we can actually just push up here. No consequence. Maybe they sent base. Oh, no, they're gonna contest. Drop the ward on my way out. I'm not going to E out because I want to make sure I have it in case we go for another fight, which I kind of assume we might. Might die here. Alright, we overstayed a little bit. We still went two for two, so not a big deal. I'm the support, so if I'm the one going down, there's, there's no problem with that. We'll go ahead. This game, oh yeah, that's right. They have two AP, so we'll go for, we'll go for a Spirit Visage this game. Uh, after that, ideally, we probably want to be going to the side lanes here. 
My, my main goal at this stage of the game, actually the main goal of this stage of the game with any uh, support that game, your main goal is to, uh, as you saw me do in that last fight there, uh, when I had the, the jump over the wall, uh, your, your main goal is to clear out vision, get into the fog of war, and then engage on the enemy. Uh, if they have a vision of you as Zack, it can be very easy for them to uh, walk out of the way, very easy for them to dodge your E, uh, it can be very easy for them to CC you so that your jump gets uh, canceled or denied or whatever. Uh, so playing with vision is, is a really big key when it comes to when comes to playing Zack support. Uh, right here, my team is, majority of my team is in base, so I can't do much. I'm just going to kind of stand by this wave and make sure it pushes in all the way. I don't think we necessarily need to Baron. I think that could potentially risk us losing the game if we happen to randomly lose a fight at Baron and then they also get Baron. I think the best play for us right now is to play off the of top side, but I'd be okay with doing Baron as well. Let me get this started. Hopefully one of my teammates will come over and grab this. Got a pick there. I have my ulti here, or my uh, passive, so I should feel free to just do whatever I want. You flash, auto, E, ignite, walk away. Super easy right there. Alright, so that should just about wrap up this game. I hope you guys were able to enjoy it. hope you guys learned a little bit about how to play Zach's support. Again, be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you haven't already. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this one. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.